What's up guys, it's Andrew from Motorcycles Off-Road. And in this video, I wanna show you my solution to adding more fuel to my DR650. I posted a couple pics to the DR650 Facebook community page and one of the comments read, I would love to see your setup and how you mounted that cam. Now I'm not saying this build is exclusive to the DR650, but I can show you exactly how I did it, particularly with this bike. And as long as you have the measurements and your clearance right, you could do this to any bike. The beauty of it all is it only cost me $36. Now the theory for me behind this is a lot of people put a bigger fuel tank on and I understand that it makes perfect sense for a lot of conditions and maybe it's a little bit easier but the problem for me is I ride a lot of sand where I live and the particular trip that I'm going to do now is a moto camping trip over five days 500 miles and like 80% of it's sand and the problem is when you put too much weight on your front tire and sand it's very hard to control your bike because the front likes to bite in and control where the bike goes by keeping the weight back it makes it easier to manage in these off-road situations so that's why I decided to go with something like this plus if I ever want to ride this thing down single track or anything like that it's easy enough just to take the can off now the total setup doesn't weigh too much obviously the plate weighs a little bit the can itself maybe weighs one or two pounds and then about eight pounds of fuel I did take off the little tool kit because I use a waterproof tool roll anyway so firstly let's take a look and I'll walk you through exactly how I did it so number one these pannier racks I've already had them I needed them to mount my giant loop 20 liter bags obviously for this to work you need something to mount it to right which this is something I already had Next, we took 3 16th plate and we put welds in three separate locations. Now, this can that I got off of Amazon, which I can put the link in my Amazon store below, came with the mount and the can's pretty durable. Now, this is the 1.3 gallon model, which is 5 liter, or you can go with the 3 liter 1 gallon model, which will probably fit a little bit better because I actually had to bend my panniers just a little bit. So, when I hit heavy bumps, it doesn't compress the can into my chain guard. Now, it comes with a couple U bolts for mounting to something tubular. What I did was I measured and then drilled out three of the four holes on my plate and I used nylon locking nuts with hardware and then I ground off the extra threads. This way it didn't rub against my bags. I put a little spacer on top and I also had to modify the fender just ever so slightly. I actually got it the first go. It's a very tight fit and it looks pretty perfect. And then if you do have your bags and your racks on, you're never going to see where the fender's cut. But if you're somebody that's going to take the racks on and off often for this particular build, maybe you don't want to cut your fender or buy a separate fender, like one of those knockoffs that you can have pre-cut just for this build. But for me, it's something that no one's ever going to notice because it's going to be behind these Pioneer racks. So there you have it. You just have to have a little welder or take it to one of your friends that weld, customize a piece of plate, drill a couple holes, and then mount this $36 can and you're good to go. Now the total range of my DR650 is 140 miles. I know this because I turned it on reserve and then drove it until she died. At the time I had this can mounted on my rear rack and I just filled her back up and now I have a good idea how far I can travel with this current setup on this motorcycle. Now keep in mind I do have an aftermarket carburetor, a modified air box, and a modified exhaust, but I think a general rule of thumb with a motorcycle like this is 140 miles. So this extra can should increase my capacity and add roughly 50 miles to my range. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video and found it informative. And I'm going on my moto camping trip shortly, so you'll see more of that as time goes on. Thanks for watching guys, my name is Andrew and this is Motorcycles Off-Road. Stay safe out there guys.